Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Excited for this David Mills Part 3. We start seeing a number of throws that can translate to Sunday. Think you're going to dig it. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. All right, Davis Mills, part three, right out the gate, third and nine. A little empty, a little variation of Haas Wai Juke. It's a little more inside fadey than Haas Wai Juke to me, normally seamish. But this is a nice ball. Hardly a perfect throw, but love the touch. Up and down, give his guy a shot. Stanford got them some tight ends. Big wide receivers. Again, just the ball location here. Again, I, I kind of like this variation of it. Middle field closed. Look at all the space in case you wanted to work with that kind of juke route over the ball as well. He's probably hot here. You know, again, it doesn't matter when it comes from such depth. Usually in my world, uh, I think of it as you get one hitch for every five yards. You get at least a hitch there. That guy's late coming from the heavens. But again, just the pure drawing here so you understand the concept because I feel like this is not revolutionary by my take by any means here. But just the idea of being that inside fades are about as popular as I can ever remember them being here. And it's not a great drawing of the first one. But then up here, kind of you get that juke route where you come up, give him something, and come across. Well, it doesn't matter who you're juking when the guy blitzes from the heavens. So they get a little one step, a little one step, take advantage of the middle field closed option if you like the matchups. Great job right here. Again, that's a lot of space. And that's the bones of Haswai Juke, even if it's not necessarily kind of like the original. It's kind of like the evolved version. But from Davis Mills there, just love the fact that it shows the touch. We get the vision, vision, timing, big third down. Here's another one, third and six. Now this timing is ridiculous. He lets this thing go early on an outbreaking route. Love the timing of it. Absolutely love the footwork, the mechanics, the efficiency, upper body, strike. This thing is and really it was saturated in the film in this game, on the body, on the break. Watching that route up top, he's running what looks kind of like an option-ish. I'll let it play full speed once so you can see the kind of route. And that little choppiness at the top to me is always kind of option-y. It's, it's a funky spaced route just because the number two up top, wide receiver, he kind of is in the way of the number one for an option. But check when this ball is released. So one, two, three, perfect base from the quarterback. He's throwing it right there. Right? Like he goes to throw it. He's separated right there. The wide receiver we're throwing it to is up top, outside, not even on the 30 yet. Nowhere near coming out of his break yet. Out of his break, on the face. I mean, talk about on the body, on the break, full speed here. One, two, three, boom, out. I mean, a thing of beauty as far as anticipation, accuracy, timing, precision. Just great football. Love it on every every ele element of that play. Outstanding. Next one here, second and four. Again, still in the first quarter. A little two back here. This is to me is always an air raidy special play. I'm sure it's been around longer than that just for my own kind of evolution with the play. And it's really kind of a variation off smash. And it's kind of really a variation off spot more than anything else. But love the touch here. The throw, it's a great call. Really, it is. It's a great finish with the wide receiver as well. But just the pure concept of it, wise, if her fans of football, I'm a big fan of. This idea being that we're going to run, we'll just say that this is a variation of smash, whether this is spot, snag, whatever you want to say. So that he comes in here, sets this thing, and then I think most people call it a follow post. So you'll come in as an outside wide receiver and run that kind of spot route where you find grass right here. So you come in. Slow your feet, and then you want to basically follow the corner into that post area. And it's really a middle field open play. So you get that corner to take away that middle field up uh, half field player up top. So this will really gather that half field player. And then when it's open from the other side as well, you're able to then attack this center of the field, right? With the little follow post. So it's here, no, into that middle section. So Love the design here, but quarterback-wise, love the touch. This is not an easy throw. Still bang, bang. Again, when does he let that thing go? Lots of anticipation all over the film. Let's that thing go right there. I mean, shoot, you can see where it is. He's still not 
that follow post is still not past the second level defenders, right? The linebacker types, the wide receivers on the 40. Up and over, just enough touch, not a massive window by any means. Taking advantage of that middle field open, there it is. Good idea for a concept versus middle field open. I know a good course that talks about it. Love the finish here too. One more time, full speed. Lots of fun. Love to see these kind of hookups. Taking advantage of what the coverage gives you, but also outstanding execution, touch, timing, nice eyes. Also from Davis Mills, we can see he does just enough to hold off that backside safety with his eyes. Watch him at the snap. Look to our right. There it is. See the helmet? I love a good helmet strike. Come back. Play at full speed so you can see the, the art of it. No. Come back. Touch. Up and down. Right over it. Friendly fire from the Huskies. Can't tackle. Great finish. Just a lot of fun to watch. Next one here, put in here, just a little sampler. Comes up a few times in this game. He just makes plays. Love to see this playmaker vibe. Even though you could probably make the argument that he could have got it out of his hand from within the pocket. Still able to keep plays alive well enough. Uses his vision. Off-platform throws. All the gurus are happy. Again, no. Eyes downfield. No panic. Sees the mailbox. Hopefully everyone saw the mailbox. That was a big mailbox. Whoop. Hand up. There it is. Everyone's favorite. Boop. <laughs> yes, question. Love it. Nice finish too. When I say he could get the ball out, not sure what the read is here on this play, but sure looks like he could throw it down here to this little five yard in. Right? Anytime you get engaged and carry the vertical of the number two receiver, you can almost always put it on that five yard in. For whatever reason, he bails. But again, the reason it's on this video, eyes, ability to make a play, off-platform throw. I always love a good mailbox completion. Again, just being able to extend plays long enough. You know, not that this is uh, a new thing, but it's certainly getting more and more attention. Moving to your left, nice little easy flick. Nice vision. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications, let you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I certainly appreciate the support for the channel. You're looking for more quarterback school content. You're looking for free quarterback school content. You are in the right spot. Check out the link in the description to this video. Check out the new-ish free course on the quick game. If you enjoy the footwork we talk about as far as some of the ways to throw, anticipation, quick game throws, what do you do versus press coverage, those types of adjustments, you'll dig that course. Six videos, free. Get over there, check it out, sign up. I appreciate it. Let's keep this one going. This was one of my uh, favorite throws. Third and eight. Again, a lot of meaningful throws on third down in this game. Not sure how this is a completion, but it's a nice strike down the field. Check my man eight out here, pointing to the ball. Like it's right there on the ground. I I don't know how this happens. Like I'm sure it w went to replay or whatever, but I still don't quite understand how that's a completion. Doesn't take anything away from the accuracy of the throw though, which is why you're here. Four verticals, again, a little chuck and duck. Nothing wrong with a little chuck and duck, especially when it's a completion. You get a little 5-0. Again, for all my past pro fans out there, 5-0 world, we're going to go boom, boom, boom. Out here, now how do you beat 5-0? You play some games, some twists. I think they end up doing a little three-person game here, looper all the way around. Really difficult for any offensive line. You can see the pressure it creates here. No, nice stunt. Doesn't get home, though. Big time play. Big time. One more time. Again, four verticals, three by one. Really the principles of four verticals, I should say. They don't run the full verts. They run those little like stick routes, turnarounds with the two and the three. But that's strike. Love taking a shot. Love the pseudo hookup. One more time from the back end just to see how he's able to stand in there, deliver it. Still gets a little chuck and duck. But again, be able to throw a strike with a free runner. That's a lot of purple coming at you. And then just so you know it's a completion, I put the next play on there. It doesn't help that it's also a touchdown. A little corner. Nice touch. Again, lots of touch throws. Love seeing from quarterbacks. Again, the consistency with it. 
nothing easy here about this play in my opinion reverse out power pass the read is the fullback in the flat the corner number two and then the the other tight end coming across on the shallow so no to the fullback he's grabbed yes to the corner got leverage timing but still the ability to reverse out go no to one yes to two get it up and down in the corner really nice throw tight end tight end celebration there I love seeing the big guys celebrate together. Fullback, tight end celebration. They know how difficult those touches are for a lot of those guys. It's fun to see. Third and seven. A few more here. This is on here because I love this footwork. If you want to know what the heck I'm talking about, I know a great free quick game course. But this is what you do versus press coverage slant. You catch and sink. And people freak out when you say this, but catch the ball one step, sink on it. Don't reset don't hitch up it's a thing of beauty right here on the body on the break quick game versus press coverage from gun catch sink see how he pauses it looks like it's a pause but in reality he's just sinking on that back leg trusting this guy's gonna win likes the matchup and he's good to go one more time down here a little slant versus press coverage if you see it's press you see a press across the board right on the outside you know you're going to work a quick game route, catch, sink, give your guy time to win because it takes a tick longer, especially in all these precision timing offenses. Trust it, timing, landmark, on the body, on the break. Love it. Love it. Really excited. You couldn't tell. And then this last one got me even more jacked up. This one is a touchdown saving tackle. Now, why you say, why are we watching 32 personnel power? Well, sometimes this happens. S happens in football. You better go save a touchdown. And my man right here accelerates, chops him down, take the quad out. Love this. I love this stuff so much. This is some of my favorite stuff. Great quarterbacks are good football players. Let me say it again. Should make a coffee mug, t-shirt. Great quarterbacks are good football players. Look at him. Track him down. Angle him out. Don't get cut back and chop him down. Look at that. Look at a little acceleration there. Yes, please. So that is a wrap. David Mills, part three. Really enjoyed this one. Started to see a lot more of what I think can be consistent kind of Sunday type performances from Davis Mills in this game. Uh, I'm excited for the next one too. If you enjoy the long form stuff, we'll put the full game over on the Patreon community. Again, excited to keep it going. Let me know who you want to see next. I appreciate it and I'll see you on the other side.